What is poppin' fans? Bannock here, and this is something a little bit different we have here. I am playing, yes, this is Backyard Baseball, one of my favorite games growing up. This is going to be the PC version of the game. I remember when I was in, like, freaking, what was it, fifth, sixth grade, I was hyped as hell to play this game in, like, when I was doing all my shit in like computer class, I was just hyped as hell. They had this game. I was just hyped as hell to play it. And thanks to my boy Scrappy10, I was able to get files for the PC version of the game. He hooked me up with these with this emulator called ScumVM, and I got the files of the game through Emu Paradise, and thus I'm able to play this wonderful masterpiece of a game yet again. His, he's doing a Let's Play of Backyard Baseball, too, so definitely check him out. His stuff will be, his link will be in the description below. So, without further ado, let us get right to League Play. Coach, sign in. We'll use, uh, we'll use the name Spanek. Because, why not? And my team name is going to be, we're going to be yellow, and we're going to be the, uh, I know this is the PC version of the game, so there's, like, no, um, am I recording? I am, okay. Just making sure I was recording, I know, a little unprofessionalism, but who cares. I, this is the PC version of the game, so there's no pro players. doesn't matter, I wasn't going to use any pro players anyway. So maybe just for this series, I would just play one game and upload and just record it. This will, this will just be the... This will just be the intro one. We'll just make the team, draft the players, maybe play the first game. We'll see. So there's no pro teams in this, so we're just going to use the name Humongous Hornets. Because there is nothing scarier than a Humongous Hornet. We're going to be a menacing threat right off the bat. This will show the, this will show the league that we mean business. There is nothing scarier than a Humongous Hornet. And we're just gonna, that is just going to be our motto throughout the season. So now we got to pick our God Squad. And... Oh my god, the memory is just flowing here right now. Alright, so... I know, I know. I know who we're taking first. We gotta take him first. God himself right here. We gotta take God himself. Okay, so we took God himself. Now, who else do we take on this beast? We gotta take Kershaw. Hey, the name's Angela. Angela Del Vecchio. Better known as Clayton Kershaw, so I guess yeah, we'll take I that one. Take her. I can tell you're a real smarty. A regular Einstein for sure. Jesus Christ, why does she have a New York accent? Alright, so... Who else do we take? Oh, we gotta take Big Pete. Hmm. I can run real good. You can also do everything else real good. Yeah, we're taking so Big Pete. Whose team am I on? He's retarded, but Jesus Christ, is he fast. So, who else do we take? Um... Damn, oh, I see you. You seen Bolt? Okay, and he says you should pick me for your team. Yeah, yeah. We sure. We're gonna play real good, you'll see. She's essentially Usain Bolt. That is why I took her. Uh, hmm. Who else? Who else is good? Well, she's got a baseball cap, so I guess... Well, these are normally the gods I are usually in the game. Oh, this guy's got cannon. I remember recently I threw a no-hitter with him, so I guess I'll... T she has two... She has two-star pitching? What? That's a disgrace. You're my friend. We gotta take Mikey. Mikey's one of the Mikey's probably the best catcher in the game. So I know I'm essentially copying Scrappy's team. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be different. No, it'll be different. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's no. I think there is a creative player, but whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna create a player. So she's got a baseball cap. So Morgan, and I can name every player who played in the 96 World Series and their lifetime stats and their single season records and the type of car they drive. Congratulations, you're hired. Right now, you play me at shortstop and we'll win for sure because I've studied tapes and tapes are the best, like Ripken and Rodriguez and Fiskel, and I can turn doubles all day, you'll see. 
Okay, cool. Uh, hmm. So, who the hell else do we take? I don't even know who's good. Like, I picked all the good people. Shit, I don't even remember who's good. I know Mikey is one of the best power. Pablo is just Pablo. Angelo Del Vecchio is essentially Clayton Kershaw. Uh, hmm. I think she's fast. Pick me because I'm a graceful ballerina. Yeah, Jesus, she's fast. Okay. Hooray! I think she was fast, so I guess we'll go with that. Um. Damn, I really. It's probably like somebody watching this right now screaming that this guy's a god. Take him. Uh. Hmm. Shit. I don't even know who else is good. Like we got three. We got three pitchers. Which is all I really want. We got our rotations set. Angela, Luan, Mikey, Thomas. Those are three God squad. Those are, that's my parents. That's like three aces right there. Uh, God damn. Who else do we take? Lost as hell. Um, this guy's got to pop. What? Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? I remember taking this guy all the time because he just has a because he just has a crazy good bat. So we'll just go with that. I think we'll just go Dante with the last just pick. Give me a I'm still hungry. Holy crap! He sounds like um from Family Guy. Remember the episode when Peter had that conjoined twin? He sounds exactly like him. Let's dig in. So let's go with him. We have one more slide where we okay. Yep, that's the squad. Uh, let's go to game options because I want to just set up. Can I go? I, really? I can only do medium? That's weird. Whatever. Uh, okay, errors on six innings because this is supposed to be like Little League, so we'll go with that. Uh, I can only do medium apparently, so whatever. We'll leave this on just because I. We'll take play by play, call commentary off. We'll take chatter off. Player talk will leave on. Music will leave on. Uh, will we leave music on? Yeah, we'll leave music on. Ambient sound we'll leave on too. Whatever. So I guess we got that. But I just want to s let's see the strategy. I forgot to f I gotta play with this lamp. Okay, well really, well, the first starter is gonna be Angela, obviously. And I like Luan batting. Why is Luan clean up? I like Luan batting leadoff. Pablo third should be fine. I like Angela more towards the bottom. Of, nah, Pablo actually fourth. Pete third. Um, Pablo cleanup is fine. I think we'll put. I think we'll put Dante in the two hole. I guess and I like Angela towards the bottom. She doesn't really have that good of a bat. Achman's actually got to get bat though. Hmm. Actually no, we'll put Pablo in the two hole. And then we'll put uh, we'll put Achman fourth. He actually has a really really solid bat. I like Pete third. Sixth, I guess we'll put Stephanie. I like Vicky ninth because Vicky's fast as hell. No, I'll put Angela, Dante, and then Vicky. Angela seventh. Yeah, I think that should be fine. We'll roll with that lineup for now. See how that works. And we'll go from there. So, yeah, that is our, that is our squad. I set the strat, right? Yeah, that's the strat. Opening day strat. We're going to have Angela on the map opening day because she is our ace. Oh, I got to mess with the... Oh, I got to mess with the field. I didn't even realize the field. Okay. Uh, Mikey Thomas is catching. He's got a cannon. I guess I'll put Achmed at third. Pete at center. Dante right. Pablo in left. Or Lu I like Luan in left because Luan's fast. Pablo at second is fine. Where's it? It's. Oh no, we'll put um, her at short. Vicky at first base? Uh. You know, we'll put Dante at first base. Just to, just to see how that works out. Because I, I like speed in the outfield more than anything. I really good gloves because you're going to be able to gun people anyway. So, like, Pete's got an arm. So, we're going to be able to gun people anyway. Aquaman at third is fine. Yeah, okay, so I like this better. Because I remember trying Luan at second base before, and it was uh, it was a complete and utter disaster. She would drop everything. 
So I guess putting Luan in left field's fine. So let's see who we... I fixed... I fucked my game options, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Let me just save. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. I guess that's good. Okay, so let's start. We're facing against the crazy monsters in opening day. My game options saved, right? Sorry about all this. I just am OCD as hell with this crap. Okay, so let's go. Watch out for this one, kid, because I throw pretty fast, you know. All right, so Cindy Chang is gonna be leading off the game for the. Monsters, and we got Angela on the mound for the first game of the season. So, let's see how this turns out. We got, okay, so four pitches, heat, slow ball, left hook, right hook, and intentional walk. And let's see if the Hornets can pick up a win here. Let's start out with heat, and we are starting out great. Angela throwing a first pitch strike to lead off the game. I know Angela's heat is not the greatest, I know she's better known for her slow ball and hook stuff. Yeah, kind of like Kershaw. Kershaw's known for that really disgusting curveball he likes to throw a lot. So let's see if Angela can pick up a nice K here, and she does. He's a very nice start for Angela so far. And now we face Whitney Singh. I guess we'll, I guess we'll throw a slow ball. Just to see where... Just to gauge. And this one's popped up. Mikey, that's you, boy. And Mikey's able to make the play. Nice. Here's Todd Xavier. Who was actually pitching today. For the Monsters. So let's start out with a slow ball. On days when Angela is not pitching. She's probably going to be playing first base. Because that's really the only position she's kind of okay at. Oh my god, that one was smacked. But it looks like it's going to be... Pablo picks it up. Throws over the first. Dante is there for the out. So Pablo able to make the play. That's why I have Pablo at second base. If I had Luan there, she probably would have dropped it. So inning over. And now the Hornets will be coming to bat. So let's see if we can get the ball rolling here. So we have Luan, Pablo, and Pete. As our one, two, three hitters. The way is going to be leading off the game for us. Stay on back, you kid. And Luann is fast as hell. You know what? I'm going to try to bunt. I'm going to try to drop one down here. Let's get the offense rolling. Okay, well, that was a little bit late on the bunt. So we shall see what... We shall see what happens. We shall... Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop one down here. I'm still gonna drop one down here. It's only one strike, and Luann's able to get it down. They were playing back on Luann. She may beat this, and yeah, Luann's able to beat the throw. So really, really, really poor feeling by the monsters here as Luan, as they got Luann on base. And here comes Pablo Sanchez, the Sanchez, coming up to the plate. And you know what? Why not? Let's deal with Luan here. Let's try to get some. Let's try to get some risks. Let's try to get some runners in scoring position. I'm taking first pitch anyway. So yeah, I'm taking first pitch anyway. So why not? Well, I didn't take that, and no one covering, but they got able to gun Luan down here. As the catcher makes a really, really nice throw on that fastball. So I tried to play some, uh, eh, kind of small ball. Try to get some, try to put some early pressure, and it didn't actually work out. That's going to be, yeah. So one on one count on Pablo. Let's see if we can get the offense rolling so far. I'm going to try to maybe open my stance a bit and see if I can pull something or whatever. And Pablo has just slapped the shit out of that ball. And he took him, and that is going to be Pablo's first home run of the season. I am not even sure if that boy landed yet. 329 feet. Good lord. Pablo able to get us an early 1-0 league. Maybe it could have been 2-0 if I didn't get a little greedy with Luan there. 
but Pablo smacking that one. And here comes Pete. Another fast player. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. I hope you do hit a touchdown. Let's open the stance a bit. He's got power. Pete kind of has power. Let's see where... Oh, Pete slaps that one, but they were playing right there. Pete's fast. He may beat this. No, he doesn't. And here's Ahmed Khan. He kind of has a... I remember this kid having a ton of pop. He actually doesn't have a pretty. He actually doesn't have a pretty bad swing. Like you know, he's not. Like I know, he's not one of the favored players, but he could do something here. And well, he swung and missed to two of them. Well, I'm kind of bad at this game, so. And he grounds that one right to the pitcher. Throws over the first. And yeah, but at least Pablo was able to hit a dinger. And we have ourselves out to an early one nothing lead. But with Angela on the mound, that might be all we need here to maybe secure winning this game. Because Angela is probably one of the best pitchers in this game. So we got Tina Herrera, Artie Pimpleton, and Jack Joseph up. Let's see if these guys could do anything against uh, Angela Del Vecchio. Can't believe they gave her a New York accent to, like, Jesus God Almighty. I know Del Vecchio sounds like an Italian last name, but did they really have to give her a New York accent? <laughs> really. Ooh, that one was smacked, but right at Dante. He's going to be able to go to first base, get the out. And here's Artie Pimbleton. Let's see if he could do anything. Ooh, okay, that one smacked. Stephanie might be able to get to it, though. Stephanie cannot make the play. But is that a hit? Is that it ruled a hit, or is it ruled an error? Is that ruled a hit or an error? Just hold on one minute. I want to see if that was ruled a hit or an error. That was ruled a... It was ruled a hit. All right, so... No, no hitter for Angela, but eh, whatever. It's fine. Let us continue to play ball. We are up on nothing so far. Runner on first, and he's going to swing right through that slow ball. Good pitch there by Angela. All right, let's give him gas. I know Angela's gas not the greatest. Oh, my goodness. That is deep to center field, but that's Pete's going to be right there. Oh, maybe it'll double him up. Uh, he's not going to be able to double him up as Stephanie doesn't have the arm to double up. Maybe I could try to bait. Nah, he's not going to go. All right, so. All right, Michiko Adachi is up now. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So let's see what. Is that a man or a woman? I don't even know. Swings right. Next one's a strike guaranteed. I hope you're right, Angie. And fouls that one off. I'm not even sure. I think that's a woman. I want to say that's a woman. You know what? Let's see if I can get him to chase. Get her to chase. God damn. Ah, uh, didn't want to chase. Didn't chase. All right. So be it. And we'll just deliver a slow ball here. Swing and a miss. And we're able to get the strikeout. Bye -bye, As we're able to get the strikeout here. And Mikey Thomas is going to be leading off this next inning. Mikey Thomas has, uh, he, is a, he is a really, really good hitter. Underrated player in uh, backyard baseball. But just backyard sports in general. Really underrated player. He's going to foul that one off. He's not the best runner. But that's why he's batting fifth. He doesn't need to be a best runner when he has a really good bat. Let's open the stance a bit. Let's see if we could smack something here. That's high. Wow, they called that a strike. All right. All right, I see what this ump is trying to do here. 
very giving very very generous calls. And he actually grounds that one right up the third base line, but it is going to be foul ball. So they are preparing him to hit in that direction. Let's square up here. Two strikes. Let's see if we could smack something. He slaps that one right up the middle, but diving stop right there. Good play defensively on their end. And Mikey, not the greatest runner, so couldn't even beat that out if he tried. So here's Stephanie Morgan in her 10,000 year uh, warm up. Good plan, Stephanie. Good plan. Let's try power. Let's see what we can do. Why not? Really, just why not? That's kind of the one that popped up right to the pitcher. Easy me to make the play. And now here comes Angie. You guys in the outfield better move fast. Better move fast. That, that's more of a jer I don't even know. Jersey, New York, they're both really the same thing. That's outside. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a Joyzy or a New York. Sounds more like actually now that I think it now that I hear it better, sounds more like a Joyzy accent. She got from she's from New Joyzy. It makes sense. They're both right next to each other. Ooh, that was actually pr hit pretty well. And then Angel's gonna get herself a base hit. Actually, she doesn't run too well. She actually might. Yep. Damn it. Yeah, she got a hit to the outfield though. Uh, it was just that uh, people in this game. If your name is not Luan Louie or Vicky Kawaguchi, you suck at running. So, or Pete Wheeler. Pete Wheeler's good too. So here comes Heather Quinn now up to the plate. But at least I'll have Vicky Kawaguchi, though. No, I'll have Dante leading off. Dante's a good runner, too. So at least I'll have Dante leading off next inning. Dante, Vicky, and... Dante, Vicky, and Luan should be my next three. And that's popped up. Mikey, that's you. Mikey's going to let it drop, but we might still get the runner, and we do. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you didn't catch it. We still got the runner out, which is very, very nice. And here comes Liz Kinghorn playing second base. This was the person who made that diving st rob two hits for me. So we'll see if Angela could get revenge on the mound here. Ground ball right to Angela, it looks like. Yep, and Angela's gonna... And Dante drops it! Wow. Didn't even really rush to play. Dante just dropped that. Then you have Angel on the mound. I really have no consistent person to catch the ball to play first base. I mean, I'm kind of first base on my committee at this point with Angel on the mound. So, runner on first. No big deal. Cindy Chang is up. And this one's trying to steal second. And Mikey guns are down. You don't steal a Mikey Thomas that easily. I don't care if you're Billy Hamilton. You don't steal on Mikey Thomas like that. I don't care. I'm throwing the right hook. Popped up foul. All right. I'm not using... I hate these right here. These things, the... Uh, what are those? The Super Bowls or whatever the hell they are? The power-ups? I always hated them. And I'm able to strike her out looking. So now we got Dante, Vicky, and Luan up now. And here comes Dante. I'm ready for you. And here comes Dante up now. Dante doesn't have the goodest bat. Goodest? He doesn't have the best bat, but he is fast. Like, look, he might beat this. It's a foot race. Uh, he's not going to beat it. And here's Vicky. Here's Vicky. Um, okay, Vicky. Let's see what you could do here. I might try to drop one down. Just because I can. That's high, though. Alright, Vic. Let's see what you got. Or drop one down. Right down third baseline. Because if Vicky does have wheels... What the hell kind of bunt was that? Like, look at this. Like, what is that? 
She just throws the bat down and just looks at the sign and sticks her tongue out. Like, what? Okay. God damn it. All right. One and two. I swung and missed at that one. I tried to maybe get a line drive going. But with the not greatest hitter in Luan up next. Okay, Vicky actually smacked that one. She may beat this. And Vicky able to beat it. Nice. I'm not going to steal. Because Luan is up now. And with actually one out, eh, well, I'm just gonna bunt anyway with Luan. That would move Vicky over the second base, and Luan possibly could reach first because she's fast. So that's low. Playing, oh wow, they called that a strike. All right, really generous ump right here. Playing a little small ball to try to get the offense into gear. I right, drop on down, but that's foul. So with two strikes now, I just got to square up and smack something. But th I think with two strikes now, I'm going to steal with Vicky. So, so I can probably get a runner in scoring position. And I swung right through that one. Oh my god, this catcher's got a cannon. Okay, I underestimated the arm of this catcher. I thought, it was, I thought the throw was going to go to the pitcher to get cut off, but they got the strike him out, throw him out, double play there, which is really, really unfortunate for me. But we're still up 1-0. We are still up 1-0. As Ando's pitching a phenomenal game, keeping us in the game. Ando's pitching a phenomenal game, keeping us in it throughout. So... Okay, that's a ground ball. This is why I hate doing live commentary. There's always that dead silent. Oh, this one's trying to take two? Yeah, get gunned. Get gunned. This is why I always hate doing live commentary. It's why I never live comment my Pokemon battles. Because there's always that dead time. Like, where I'm not talking and it's just the game being played. I hate that about live commentary. It's why I always focus on my games. Oh, sh damn it. I almost hit intentional walk there. Oops. But the hook is still working for Angie right now. Calls that one a ball. Well, maybe if that was on me, it'd be a strike. And Angie might go the distance here. Yeah, I call her Angie. Because I, too, am from New York. And we call people named Angela Angie over here. So. So be it. Ooh. Hung that shit. He smacked it. Mikey's not fast, but if it drops, so be it. Why is Angela going for the ball, not Mikey? Mikey may still be able to get him. Ooh, we got him. Wow, he's slow. Why is every base runner in this game slow as hell? I'm pretty sure I could have beat that out. I'm not the most well fit guy in the universe. But I'm pretty sure I probably could have beat that out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even when I was that age... When I was that age, I, when I was their age, I played baseball. Not that I'm doing too bad at first base. Can you the fact we have a first base in by committee right now? Me and the fact we have a first base in by committee right now because Angelo's pitching? Dante hasn't been doing, doing that bad at first base. I mean, he dropped one ball, but so be it. So now Luan, Pablo, and Peter are up. Wait, Luan's up? Wow, okay. Damn back, you kid. Okay, wow, okay, so that was a weird glitch where Luan, well, because Vicky got caught stealing, Luan's back up at the plate. Luan struck out, though. That was a strike him out, throw him out, double play. And it's going to come back to bite them as Luan's going to reach for his base. Wow, okay, I'll take that. And now Pablo's up. Pablo took this guy deep in his first at-bat. That's what he said the first time. So let's open the stance here. Let's see if Pablo could go deep again. I'm not stealing on this catcher again. She gunned Luan and gunned Vicky. Uh, wow, threw blew the heat right by me. Uh, 
That's out. That's low. Wow, okay. He's calling everything low. I'd like to see how I would hit that pitch. Anyway. Ah, I swung right through that shit. Yeah, with you there, Pablo. I may try to steal, though. Pizza. up. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. I'm gonna try to steal. I know it's ballsy, being in fact this catcher's been. I'm gonna maybe hit no hit and run. I'm gonna hit and run here. Boom. That's actually gonna pay off, cause Pete's fast. Pete's gonna beat this. Is that catcher's got a cannon? So yeah, good hit and run there. Now here's Ahmed Khan and. And here's Ahmed Khan, so let's see how he does. Uh, okay, here's the pitch. Ooh, he launched that one! That's gone! Three run home run! I told you this guy has a good bat. He threw a slow ball right down the middle. I think that's gonna be the game though. <laughs> 347 feet. Ahmed just, launch, just launched one into the next universe. I'm not even sure if Pablo's landed yet. I like his music too. And here's Mikey. And here's Mikey Thomas, the catcher. That's inside. If they call that a strike, I would charge the mount. Well, actually, maybe not charge the mount because it's this freaking ump that's calling it that a strike. Alright, this is why I hate the power up pitches. I tried to time that like a slow ball, but of course he has the, uh, that stupid slow mo BS. And I'm swinging and missing at that. That's gonna be strike three, yeah. There's nothing I can do there. He threw two slow mo pitches. That's cheap as hell. But unfortunately, there's no way to turn those off. Like, I can't even put this on hardest difficulty, and I don't understand why I can't put it on hardest difficulty. Whatever. It's whatever. I just wanna play the game. I don't care about, like. I don't care about hardest difficulty or any crap like that. I just wanna play the game. We're up for nothing on two dingers. A solo shot by Pablo in the first inning, and in this inning, a three run blast by Ahmed Khan. He's a guy you. Ahmed Khan is a really interesting player. You don't really see him picked often, but he does actually. He does have one of the best bats in the game. He's underrated. He's very, very underrated player. Like, he's not like the Pablo or Angela Del Vecchio type player that goes on every single team. But he's serviceable, very serviceable with the bat. But without a doubt, in every single backyard baseball team, there's Angelo Del Vecchio and Pablo. Just because Pablo's Pablo, and Angelo Del Vecchio is the best pitcher in the game. So... Dante actually playing a really good first base. He is Jack Joseph now. We're in the top of the fifth inning. Andrew definitely might be able to go to this. He's only thrown 28 pitches through five and through four and a third. So, definitely being efficient. Only three strikeouts, so that's fine. She's still getting the out she needs to get. So, whatever works for her. I'm throwing high slow ball here. And swings right through it. So, now it's a two and one and two, one and two. One and two count. And you know what? I haven't really shown the heat often. But I'm going to throw it here anyway. And it's going to be ruled a ball. Now I'm going to deliver the right hook. And it's able to strike him out looking. No, swinging rather. So that makes four strikeouts for Angela. 
And here's Michiko Adachi. Let's see what Michiko could do. Yeah, this episode this episode one here is gonna be a little longer because I wanted to draft my team. Every other episode after this is just gonna be whatever game we have. It's just gonna be whatever game. It's just uh, it's just gonna be the games. This one was drafting the team and the games. I hope to upload this maybe once a week in lieu of this maybe once a week upload for this. Along with ICBA, which is still going on. Hey, what ICBA, I'm going to try to get on Mondays, depending upon when I get my recordings. I already have my rec I have my recording for this coming week. So that game should be up Monday. Definitely should be up Monday. And here's Angel Del Vecchio. For sure. For sure. from New Jersey. Alright, let's see if Angela could smack this one for sure. Yep. Alright, let's open the stance a bit. Let's see if she could smack this one for sure. Okay, what timing were they looking for on that one? Seemed to be right on it. Alright, we just gotta square up and we'll go line drive this time. Let's see what... See if we could smack this one for sure. No way that's gonna happen again. Okay. I love how this is a game Angela is treated like some like tough guy. Or tough girl rather. But if you feel like but if you feel like backyard football on the GameCube. I'm turning that ball into cream corn. But if you feel like backyard football on the GameCube, she's not really that much of a tough guy. I don't understand. She's like more of a like a tough, like a tougher in this one than in the kinky version of football. Maybe because she's not the greatest in the backyard football, but no, she's actually good at baseball. What the hell? Okay, I've never used Dante in this though, and I didn't expect him to have like a delay in that swing. So we'll so yeah. I'm too hungry to bat good. I'm gonna. That's kind of. So Dante's gonna be hard to sell to play with, I get. I guess. Ballerina to the plate. Uh, two outs really not worth the bun. I might as well just try to smack something. To a two outs and a four run lead, really not worth trying to bunt. Because I'll have Luan leading off the next inning anyway, even if she gets out. Oh, that's my stupid laptop this time. I was going to take that pitch. You know what? Knowing this up, I probably would have been ruled a strike regardless. So, yeah. That's low. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky's swing is also kind of fucked up. Like, what the hell kind of swing is that? When I was their age, I could swing better than these kids. Hey, you got me with the heat anyway. Damn. All right, so now we move on to the six. Can Angela close this out? I'm going to try to go the distance. Why not? Like I said, I'm going with a three. Well, I was about to say three-man rotation. But it's two women and a man. My rotation is going to be Angela will start first. Then Mikey. No, not Mikey. Then Luann will be my second starter. Then third will be Mikey Thomas. And the pen is just going to be a mix of anyone like Pete, Pablo, Stephanie Morgan, even maybe even Ahmed. Let's try. Oh, he's got a can in there. Okay, that was a little. The can was a little too much for Dante. Yeah, Ahmed's got a freaking can in there at third base. A little too much for Dante. Just really anyone could be the bullpen. Is what I'm saying. My designated rotation is going to be Angela, Luann, and Mikey. With Angela being the ace. Oh, this guy's stealing? Ooh. We still got him, even though Pablo dropped that. I have Pablo at second base just because he has a better glove than Luan and Vicky. Well, it doesn't even matter that Angela tripped over a ladybug. And there goes Mikey 
running off the field with the ball. It doesn't even matter because, well, we got the out now. Nobody's on base, and now it's one out. Let's go with the left hook. Trying to drop one down, I see. Okay, I could just get the win right now clicking the power-ups, but I won't because I'm a bigger man than that. And struck my looking. You can't strike out looking in the s in when you have last licks. Not last licks. When this is not last licks. When you, it's the last inning and you're down for. I'm hanging this. They're trying to play some small ball here. Only I can play small ball. All right, so it's we have two outs. It's one and one. Angel doesn't have good heat, but their curved stuff is really, really disgusting. Let's just sneak this one into the zone. They'll probably look. Eh, well, blew the ball anyway. God damn. I'm going to sneak this one on the corner. Okay, Chang here knows she can't go down looking. Watch out for this one, kid, because I throw pretty fast, you know. Okay, you know what? Let's end this. Right, blue right past him, and that is going to be the game. In the first game of the season, Angela Del Vecchio has thrown a shutout as the humongous Hornets take a 4-0 win. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this game as Pablo and Ahmed already are leading off with the power. So, yeah, game summary. Let's go back to here. As we look at the other games, as the Wombats defeat the Fishers, the Bombers defeated the Rockets, the Sox defeated the Melonheads. As we are 1-0, we sit on top of the, the, the division currently. Is now we look at the schedule. We take on the fishes in the next game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I and I will up I will upload more of this in the future. I do enjoy that I am enjoying this game fully, as this is, as this squad looks to definitely go far, make a playoff push, maybe win it all. So spend a out, and I will see you guys for the next part. Don't forget to check out Scrappy Ten, his who gave me everything, who gave me the who told me about Scum VM. And his series motivated the, motivated me to do mine. His channel will be in the description below. Definitely check out his Backyard Baseball series as well. It's really a good watch. So, Spanik Adam, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!